Welcome back. Well, Jeffrey Yamauchi, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Habibi's Durable Medical and Habibi's Home Medical Equipment, joins us to talk about the services and equipment they provide. Welcome. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you so much for having us. Absolutely. So glad that you're here today. Tell us a little bit about the two companies and the difference between the two. Well, Habibi's Durable Medical, we started it up first, and we provide to Medicare Medicaid patients supplies and equipment. In particular, we're really well known for providing incontinence supplies, diapers and pull-ups to children aged three and up, and also, you know, obviously adults. Sure. But to qualify, you have to have a physician's prescription and be over three, and that's why we started that. Now, during the pandemic, we found that we had a lot of patients that were either A, unable to get their supplies because they maybe had Medicare, which does not cover incontinent supplies, or B, literally could not physically get out due to the fear from the pandemic. So we started Habibi's Home Medical for two reasons, to provide these patients a retail outlet that could home deliver their supplies, one, and two, by Habibi's Home Medical not accepting insurance, it allows us to sell medical equipment and supplies for a reasonable price. If uh, Habibi's durable medical, I have to sell them for 10% of the reimbursement, within 10%. As an example, shower chair, uh, it re re reimburses through Medicaid at $84. By not accepting insurance at Habibi's home medical, I can sell it at a far more reasonable price. And it also allows us for the patients that don't have Medicaid or have used up their allotment of supplies for the month, we can actually get them extra supplies without them having to break the bank. Let's go through some of those other supplies and products that you have to offer that you brought in today. Well, I didn't bring in the big one. We are currently in talks with Abbott to begin providing continuous glucose monitors, the Freestyle Libre 2. You guys have probably seen these. They, you go on your arm and you run your phone over them or a sensor if you need it, and it reads it. Um, we're only going to be doing this for Medicare and Medicaid. and. I love these things. I really think that this is going to be the future of diabetes. We still do the finger stick model, and the reason we do the finger stick model is Medicaid requires a prior approval, which can take two to four weeks to get that prior approval through. So we provide a finger stick model in the meantime to get people through until they can get their continuous glucose monitor. And it sounds like a, a big thing for your business, too, is you really want your customer to understand how these products work like you will walk them through how all of this works absolutely we actually have a youtube channel that we've set up not only if there are patient we go out we physically deliver the item and we go over how to use how to assemble it will assemble it but we'll show them how it needs to be assembled if anything ever happens and we have recently started a youtube channel which focuses on the use safe use, proper use of equipment, how to assemble this equipment. And we're getting ready to launch on the YouTube channel uh, an actual YouTube for physicians, caregivers, nurses, etc., which is going to provide information on what the patient needs to qualify, whether it's just a prescription, what kind of notes that they need um, to provide us, and things like that. We're trying to get a better educated patient out there, better educated caregivers, so that it's a lot safer and better for everyone. Um, one thing is I did want to thank somebody today. I have a friend of mine, she is the diabetes educator and case manager up at Baptist Spring Hill, Amy Rutherford. She taught me everything about continuous glucose meters. As a matter of fact, she let me sample one so I could use one for 14 days to try it out and just see the ease of use. And that sold me. And I, I'm not diabetic, but it, it sold me on those. But you could still test it out for yourself? I was able to, yes. Wow. Yes, she had a sample uh, okay. from, from the Abbott. Uh, rep that come through. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, another neat product that our people are loving are these gloves. Let's see if I can hold these up. What makes these gloves so special? It's easier if you just oh, hold there's them. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we have just been told we're the largest retailer distributor of Hospico Adena brand gloves in the state of Arkansas. Yay. Um, <laughs> And these are all exam grade. They're uh, higher grade than food grade, they're higher grade than industrial grade, and they can be used for everything. We sell a lot of these to tattoo parlors and dental clinics. The big deal about these particular gloves is they don't show blood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fun, uh, funny story, I was told that uh, 
by one of my tattoo artists that you would be surprised how many six foot five, 300 pound men came in there and they start getting their tattoo and just. <laughs> oh, oh, I believe it. I believe it. Um, uh uh, well, we are wrapping up here, so I do want to point out, where's your location? How can people reach oh, you? We're at 4317 East Broadway in Rose City. They can call us at 501-663-1553. And had one other little thing. We have just, we've noticed during the pandemic that there's a lot of food insecurity with the inflation. We do nutritional supplementation mm. like Boost, Boost Kids Essentials, and we have a new one. It's the Boost Complete. This is the vegan... It's the same calorie density as these, got all the nutrition's in there. And if a child is five to 20, they can qualify for this through Medicaid. Okay, that's so good to know. Jeffrey, thank you so much for joining thank me today. You. I really yes, appreciate it. All right.